Okay, so I tried to make a video on how to root the Samsung Transform, but for like an eighth time now, I keep getting an error, and then I try to save it in 720p and it fails. Uh, so no, I guess there won't be a video on how to do it because. Good job. I spent all that time editing this, and now it won't post. I freaking hate Windows Live Movie Maker, but it's the only thing that'll do my camera's files. Anyway, back to my phone. Okay, this is a stock ROM with custom recovery, a kernel for Wi-Fi teether, and root permissions. System info. That's the Vampire Transform Multi FS. You don't have to say Multi FS if you don't want EXT4. It'll only say EXT4 if you want Multi FS. EXT4 makes your phone boot really fast. So with this kernel, you now have Wi Fi Teether. You have to install version 2.0.5 pre 11. I think it's for the next one but that's what you need to use in order to have Wi-Fi Teaser on here. I did have it before today, I just did something wrong and had to redo it from stock. So the, my instructions are if you want, first of all, download the stock ROM with custom recovery and then if you want EXT4, take the EXT4 transform and boot into recovery, apply that. That'll give you EXT4 file system, which your phone will boot really fast. Mine takes about 40 seconds. And then that'll also give you the vampire kernel, uh, the multi FS kernel, and it'll give you the updated recovery options. If you don't want EXT4 and you want to stick with the slow RFS file system that Android comes stock in, then you'll need to. Uh, Take this right here and put it in your C program files, Samsung Electronics, models, binary folder. You only want this one tar to be in there. There's more than one tar, then you'll break your phone. If you take this and you extract it, then you'll mess your phone up too. So do not extract it. Just make sure this one thing's in there. That will make it go from saying Samsung Moment Recovery to Samsung Transform Recovery, and it'll give you the kernel that supports Wi Fi Teaser. Your kernel, your build number will say vampire foe dot transform. Mine says dot, you know, vampire dot transform multi FS because I did the ext4 file system. And um, the no, after you do all that, do the deodoxed. So you're, um, I don't know how it works. I just know you're supposed to do it. You deodex your phone, then you do the no full battery pop up. If you don't want your phone to pop up saying your battery is full, please unplug your cable. And then after you do that, reboot back into recovery, apply the, where's that? Full battery, uh, do the trans power full battery after that, which is this screen right here. You hold on the power button and you get power off, reboot, and recovery. So, if you want EXT4, first you gotta flash the stock ROM with custom recovery, then flash the EXT4 file system, then you'll have the kernel and the recovery that you need. If you don't want EXT4, then you have to install the kernel recovery I've highlighted. Then you'll have you know the kernel for Wi-Fi teether and net filters and stuff that you'll get with net with the EXT4 file system, and you'll have the recovery, which is meant for the transform. Then from there, deodex your phone, then do the no full battery pop up, then do the trans power in that order. And each time you gotta reboot and recovery. So don't don't apply the update and then apply and apply and apply. You gotta reboot to recovery each time after you do it. Reboot the system and then reboot to recovery. So sorry if this doesn't make any sense. I can't edit this video because it'll 
fail miserably like this one does over and over again. So, thank you for watching. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how fast my phone boots up. Alright, I'll hold down, I'll unlock it. I'll hold down the power button. This is the trans power thing where it gives you more than just power off airplane and silent. I'll go to reboot. It's got to shut down all the way. Okay. Man, I wish that video wouldn't stop failing. Five minutes, 54 seconds. We saw that screen. Was it a Sprint logo? This is after EXT4 file system, DODEX. No full battery pop up and the reboot recovery options and the power button. All right, 622 at the Samsung logo. It takes about 16 seconds, I think, to get from this to the desktop. Well, that's 10 seconds into the vibration and light. And 42. About 45 seconds altogether. Not bad at all. That's after everything, you know? That, this isn't stock anymore. It's a stock ROM, but it's got the kernel and all these extra options. Thanks for watching my seven minute long video that I cannot edit. Because it will fail miserably like this one. Into 720p. And then this will do this for a minute or two. Then it will fail. Thank you, Windows Live Movie Maker, for being a complete waste of time and space. Goodbye.